Hey guys, so I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As always, my readings are general, therefore the collective. So if something here doesn't resonate for you, I just want you to leave it for someone who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in Tarot. And if you feel that the reading just isn't yours, make sure to check out your Moon and your Venus placements as they usually are better for love. Um, I'll pull two separate energies in the start. The first I'll call yours. The second should be your person's. But if they fit better in the opposite, just go ahead and switch sides. Same for cross watchers. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you need to book a private personal reading, all that information is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. And I guess I should sort of explain my readings. Some people aren't sure. They've never gotten one from anyone and other readers do it differently. My readings look a little bit like really asking the tarot the questions that you'd like answered and also kind of looking into your history of relationships to kind of see if there's anything pressing there that you might need to look into and change or any type of old traumas that need to be released. So it's like a full, almost like therapy session, if you will. Again, in the description below and in the pin section of the comments. So let's get into this. Please have the energy for Sagittarius in love. Okay, we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So your overall energy here is the Four of Swords. I have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, interesting, the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, The Two of Cups, the Fool, Aquarius Energy, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands, and at the bottom of the deck I have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you've been taking a lot of time to yourself here. The, the Four of Swords is about, you know, resting, recuperating. But it's it's a solitary period where you've been looking into your inner truths and maybe some things about yourself that you didn't even notice before. And a lot of this is really around your inner stability and your self-worth. There seems to be a recognition that we've been holding back on emotions, that perhaps we don't access them so easily when it comes to love. Um, you know, I feel like in some past situations, it was like if you really expressed your feelings, um, maybe it didn't work out so well. If you expressed your love, you know, uh, it may not have been a good thing. And so you learn to just sort of hold back on emotions and emotionally detach. Um, 
which probably has caused a lot of issues, you know, um, or it could be that you feel like you consistently choose people who are emotionally detached, who just aren't emotionally available to you. And that's why there's so much drama and conflict. And I feel like this is a period that may be rolling into an abandonment thing with the five of pentacles, you know, these trying to move away from old baggage that has made us hold back in love or has made us offer love to people who just simply are not even emotionally available. They can't give love back. And so for a lot of you, we could be, you know, looking into behavior patterns that come from that or just emotional discourse from it, you know? Um, But there's definitely this want for new, this, this want to better understand ourselves. So with this honeymoon card, you know, I feel like it's more of like a period of time for you. Like you're taking time to yourself. And, and a lot of you are really trying to work out like an, a deep abandonment thing. Um, if you have trouble with that, I'm almost an expert. I've got the same issues and I've worked it out. So <laughs> feel free to hit me up. <laughs> Let's, let's see about the person on Sagittarius's mind, please. Okay, we have the hangman, Pisces energy. Why is it when I'm doing your reading, it's like, like before this, there were just no cars out here, and now every loud car in the entire city just wants to drive past my house on a side road. It's crazy. <laughs> just don't know. We have the three of pentacles. The Six of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Two of Pentacles. High Priestess, Cancer Pisces Energy. Five of Cups. Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords, at the bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Wands. This person is looking into their own issues with this, you know, how, you know, in past commitments, possibly have hurt this person you know I feel like there may have even been a situation in this person's past where they they actually proposed to somebody and ended up you know dealing with a third party situation you know I mean proposing like actual marriage the knight of cups and the hierophant this is you know this is a separate situation from you I would imagine it's it's why they struggle with emotions, though, and they don't talk about them. You know, there's this underlying depression and this fear, absolute fear of being rejected. So it is true. You know, you, you may keep choosing partners who just aren't emotionally available, and that made you kind of look into you. Am I emotionally available? You know, have I been hurt so much that maybe... You know, I do different things in relationships. So it's kind of interesting because this person made you look into yourself and it, it seems that you have them looking into their selves as well. Like they're completely enlightened to the fact that they've, that they've been holding in and repressing in their subconscious a lot of pain and anxiety around relationships. This is someone who was literally afraid to love. All right, what's the most likely outcome here for Sagittarius? What's going to happen? Okay. 
the King of Wands. Ten of Cups. The Tower, Aries Scorpio. The King of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Knight of Swords. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. The Sun, Leo Energy. The Seven of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The World. <coughs> I see you taking action towards fulfillment. It's it's like whatever you're learning here is the change that's needed to become emotionally available and to find what you're looking for here. And it's like you go from almost being afraid to just moving in a direction. It's like, uh, you don't see an energy that you're rushing towards, you know, it's more, taking the action to make those necessary changes or to heal that, that with it, that's within and also understanding that we only get back what we put out. Um, sometimes what we see in another person that we hate so much is really a projection of ourselves, right? Like we say, you know, F this person, they don't even come off as emotionally available. You, you have trauma that you need to work out, you know, and we're saying all these things to people and we're not looking at the fact that, that we might even sort of be projecting about our own self and, and what has happened to us. So it's almost that recognition. I get what I put out and moving forward with it. It's like it puts you right back on track and and now you can move into peace, prosperity, and happiness and true, genuine love, you know, not choosing almost people that are that are right at the vibration level that we are. It's like you have actually improved and changed a part of you. And when you kill that old part of you, moving forward, you have a much healthier you, right? So you're going to find a much healthier relationship. In the advice, we have strength, which is Leo energy. The three of cups. The king of swords. If this was an air sign that you were, it doesn't even have to be. Um, either way, there, there's going to be a conversation coming in from this, I feel, past person, the most recent person that, that you dealt with because they've looked into their problems now and they, they will also, it's almost twin flamey. You know, one person goes into it everybody teaches each other a lesson and then towards the end you can just kind of work things out so it's almost like you know maybe you were looking at how you were projecting at this person and sort of taking that back and they they see they did the same thing so there you know there's a conversation that's to be had with this person and and that's how you're you know it's kind of like the person that you were just with is the right person you were just looking at the situation almost from um the wrong angle and it's all going to get changed around here so there's you know if you want to reconcile with this past person if you were looking for changes it's like you both changed so it is possible and i say a twin flame thing because i see a bunch of mirroring and i have of course the lovers here and the four of wands We have balanced spirituality and practicality with a fiery climax approaches.
Because I don't think you see this coming from this person. <laughs> I don't think you see it. Maybe it's like you really try to look at everything from this super logical perspective too. Stop doing that. Sometimes people come into our lives because the divine wanted them there. It doesn't have to always be logical. And we have hope. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. So I see two people healing and then coming back together in the correct sense for those of you who do want that. For those of you who don't, you know, it's like, and you're looking to see what the the whole outcome of this relationship was. It was for both of you to learn a lesson. Yes, this person is also learning. Um, and if this is not your choice, moving forward, you have still changed. You're not going to be bringing the old relationship issues into a new one. So don't be afraid to just go out there. Get yourself out there. Find a one. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys soon.